Alrighty, welcome back to another video with Notion Workflow. Today I'll be showing you how to create a simple voting system. I think the keyword here is simple. I mean, as always, this channel is meant for accessible, intuitive, digestible learning so that you can apply it to your workspace. And so if this feels too simple, that's just the way that it is, right? I don't want to try to overcomplicate things, but this is the nature of the channel. And so just want to voice a friendly reminder on how and why this channel exists. So let's get started right away. We're going to create a database, an inline database, and it's going to be a very simple setup, like I mentioned. Obviously, there's many ways to do this, and this is just to get you started so you can adapt it to your exact needs and make it a little more customized to your teams or your friends' needs. The first thing we want to do is add the person property. We also want to add a database button to make this a little easier for ourselves. We also want to add two formula properties, and then we also want to add a number property. And so the number property is just going to be like total people or total total votes that a certain idea or an entry might receive. And then one formula property is going to be the total votes, and the other one is going to show the percent total. So the, sort of the progress in relation to all the possible people that could vote. And so the idea here is whenever we click on a button, we want to add ourselves to the person property, and then we can count how many people have clicked on the button. And then we can also measure the percent total based on that click. So we're going to edit this button. We are going to edit this page, and we are going to add ourselves, the person who clicked on it, in the entry itself. So once we have that set up, we can click on this and notice how my name appears there. And so now, we want to count how many people are in the person property. And so the idea is we're going to have an idea, maybe several ideas, right? That's the whole point of a voting system so that your team can vote on the best one. And then we can sort of filter or sort based on how many total votes exist based on how many people have clicked on the button. And so the way that we're going to be able to count the total votes is just by counting the length of how many people exist within that entry, right? There's no people associated with idea one, and so it shows zero. Now this is very simple, right? But I think we also wanna show the total. What we can do is divide the total votes by total available. I'll just rename that naming convention sake. And as you can see here, when we click on a button, that changes to one. So if this turns into one, again, what we can also do is change this to a percent and then also show a bar. So 100% of total available people voted for idea, right? Based on how many people have clicked on button and how many people could vote. And so if this is two, that changes to 50%, right? If this is three, we have this long numerical percent total. What we can do here is round, multiply it by 10 maybe, maybe 100, close it, and then divide it by 100 as well. And then notice how decimal places get eliminated. If we want to add another decimal place, we can add zero on both sides and we get 33.3%. And maybe that's more appropriate and easier to read than this long number here. This is a very, very simple voting system. If another person were to click on this button, this would turn to two and then this would go up to 66.6%. .6%. What we can do next is just create that sorted list based on percent total. And then let's also show that percent total and let's make that descending. So now we have a sorted view of percentage of votes and we can see how that works like so. Now, this is a very simple, again, voting system. And this is just to show how customizable Notion really is and how easy it is to create something like this. In a future video, I think I'll be sharing some of my board game related templates to sort of illustrate how customizable, how you might be able to shape Notion to sort of digitize your game scoring, for example, and so on and so forth. So very short video. It's probably one of my shortest videos yet, but I just wanted to show you how quickly you're able to create a simple voting system based on a button and a few formulas, and then being able to also reference a total that you can sort of calculate in relation to the votes itself. This is probably one of my most simplest videos that I've created so far. And so if you want me to sort of share a more complicated video or a situation that you're trying to solve that could benefit other people watching this channel, feel free to comment below. 
and I will pick a handful of those ideas that feel like it would be relevant and practical for other viewers that watch this YouTube channel. Something that I am also able to do now is enable YouTube memberships. And one of my membership perk ideas is to share all of the formulas that I've created in the past and have access to those examples within a Notion template itself. And so what that allows you to do is instead of having to watch my videos, you could quickly find the, the formula that you're looking for based on the playlist that I have on YouTube. And you can quickly reference what you need and how you might go about doing that by accessing the template itself and then accessing the Notion formula directly. I'm not sure if this is something that would be interesting or useful for other folks, but I would like to take advantage of my memberships perk that I can now do with my YouTube channel. And I would also be curious to hear if any viewers would be interested in other membership benefits, videos, Q&A sessions, YouTube lives, so on and so forth, and any other ideas you might have that I could easily implement and you could easily take advantage of. I usually don't share stuff like this, but I thought now would be a good time to do that as within the next week or so, be monetized on YouTube. This has been a, my end goal and the goal that I've been trying to achieve since the inception of this channel. And I wanna keep creating videos, but as I have less time to sort of create and focus on these videos, I wanna make sure that I'm creating things that benefit the most viewers and the most subscribers and that generate the most comments that other people can find useful as well, right? Long story short, thanks for all the support over the last nine, 10 months. I've learned a lot, stayed very consistent trying to publish these videos, but I wanna be realistic moving forward with the future of this channel and also staying in line with why I started this channel and still continue to grow it in that same way. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.